What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Regamer27, and once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. Uh, today, I just want to prove my point on why I feel that this gaming industry as of today is a clusterfuck, and, you know, just, it ain't just Capcom, it's everybody else, Ubi, you know, Ubisoft, uh, EA, you know, all these, you know, um, uh, companies out there just screwing over the customers, and, and by me being a huge uh, fan of the Street Fighter series, I'm just, I just so, so fucking disappointed that Capcom or Crapcom had basically just had the audacity to bring out this game so very, very incomplete. The game looks absolutely beautiful. It looks magnificent. I love the art style. The graphics is wonderful. But, you know, they put out an eye candy, but, but on the other side, it's missing a lot of features. It's missing the arcade mode the arcade mode it will basically stabilize this franchise was basically made this this fighting um, fighting game uh uh so very popular over 20 plus years i've been a huge fan of street fighter since the since street fighter 2 came out and and with street fighter 2 street fighter 3 4 you know the street fighter alphas you know all, all those games you know i felt that we got a lot of you know bang or uh, bang for our bucks but with like I say, today's gaming industry is 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 a clusterfuck, and and just by Capcom releasing Street Fighter Five so very incomplete, it just makes me want to freaking just puke my dinner I just had. It just it's sad. The reason why I bring this up because I just bought the 3DS version of the Street Fighter Four, and it has over 30 characters. I repeat, 30. Characters and look, you know, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and roll a clip. Roll a clip. All right, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to just prove a point and show y'all what I'm talking about on why today's gaming industry is a clusterfuck. And okay, I got Street Fighter 4 and 3DS, uh, in which uh, it was a good deal 18 bucks for a uh, jam pack fighting game that has the arcade mode versus uh, mode. You know, of course, they got the the training online, they got basically what you generally see in a Street Fighter game. But the deal was pissing a lot of people off as is uh, Street Fighter 5 is not coming with a arcade mode in which was their staple point on on the series throughout over twenty plus years. Everybody always, you know, played the arcade mode first be well I don't say everybody, majority of people play the arcade mode first before they jump into the online. But I guess today's industry, gaming industry is basically just focusing on the online only games in which is a uh, is a uh, is fucked but another thing that really pissed a lot of people off is uh all these dlcs and and microtransactions and taking a lot of characters at the game and one of the, of the original characters uh sagat is not in the game not in street fighter 5 he is one of the characters that i play with and he's not in street fighter 5 so let's go ahead and go to the arcade mode in which street fighter 5 don't have right now uh, and see, let's let's see how many characters uh, that Street Fighter 4 has. In which in Street Fighter 5, you gonna have to freaking pay for in the later time. So let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, hold on just a second. Uh, arcade mode. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and and count and see how many characters that Street Fighter 4 has. Okay. What's it? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, uh, 18, 27, 28, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, hold on, hold on, I miscount, uh, 8, 27, 28, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35 characters, it has 35 characters on Street Fighter 4, in which they sh completely stripped down Street Fighter 5, in which that is ridiculous. 35 characters. Guess how much I pay for this game? $18. And guess how much you got to pay for Street Fighter 5? A stripped down Street Fighter 5. $60. And yes, y'all about to, and people that bought this game, I, I know a lot of y'all are really huge Street Fighter fans, in, in which I am, but I am a fan of keeping um, money in my wallet. You know, well spunt money in my wallet. You know, but it, it's like this if it's not. If it's not worth the money, I know it has jaw-dropping graphics. It looks wonderful. It's beautiful, but I want more than, than, than just an eye candy game. Uh, 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 game. I want a game that has full of features, and in which Street Fighter Five does not. So, whenever um, until Sony, whatever Capcom 
get this this crap fixed. I'm not going to purchase Street Fighter 5. I'm just going to keep continuously and play Street Fighter 4 on my 3DS, in which I just bought yesterday. And I just want to prove my point. I just want to prove my point. But anyway, y'all just give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions on how do y'all feel about this clusterfuck gaming industry that we are in today. It's fucked up. Like, seriously. Like, games that we are getting these days are stripped down, but the price is still the same. It's $60. And plus, the season passes is getting ridiculous with the prices. The prices of season pass used to be twenty dollars for season passes. Now it's, it went for twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Pretty soon it's going to sixty dollars. So basically, you got to spend basically two, uh, uh, basically over a hundred dollars for the complete game. You so, know, so that's what about hundred dollars, one hundred twenty dollars. You know, that's just the route that we are going in this in today's industry, and I don't like it. But anyway, y'all just tell me how y'all, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole entire situation with this Capcom Street Fighter 5. It's fucked up, but it's like this. If y'all for getting y'all asses raped in y'all wallets, then it's whatever. But if, if y'all got uh, concerns, just let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And once again, it's your boy, Gaming 27 and have a good day.